Okay, I still get asked this a lot. So I'm gonna show you how to open up a model's OnlyFans account and set it up on a Dolphin Anti browser so that you can log into it, your chatters can log into it, VAs can log into it, and even your model can log into it if you wanna give her the login details as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. First of all, you're gonna download Dolphin Anti. You'll go to the Dolphin Anti website here, dolphin-anti.com or just Google it. You know, you know how to do that. I've got a link below actually. I'm pretty sure it will give you 10% off because they are a partner of mine. Um, full disclosure, I had a few offers actually. I've had Incogniton, GoLogin, and Dolphin Anti all offer partnerships and another one, it was Bit something. It was an Asian one. Um, but I chose to stick with Dolphin Anti and decline the other partnerships because I really like Dolphin Anti. It's the best uh, anti-detect web browser I've used. Look, to be fair, Incogniton is actually still pretty good. Um, but I noticed there's a lot more flexibility with Dolphin Anti regarding the technical stuff. So you can set up like um, automations and things like that on this. Whereas uh, I didn't see the option to do that on Incogniton. But to be fair, Incogniton uh, is all right as well. But um, yeah, I live by Dolphin Anti. So full disclosure, I am a partner. We are partners. And there's a link below. But I would not be pushing that if I didn't think it was good. So there you go. So you go to Dolphin Anti, download that. Uh, that's the easy part. So you're going to set that up. You start off, it's a freemium model. So you get a free account. I think you get to set up, uh, I think it's like 10 browser profiles, I think 10 before you get asked to pay. And then you got to pay X amount. And then if you want to enable um, team members, uh, so when you start getting chatters and that, then you'll also have to pay for that as well. Something like that. So, um, but if you're just starting out, no worries at all. You can set up a browser profile for free, no worries. So that's the easy part. Uh, the part where I get a lot of questions about is the proxies. So there's a lot of places you can get proxies. I have a whole list on my Empire forum. Soon that will be on the Discord I'm creating. By the way, I'm creating a Masters of Only Fans Discord. I've had a forum for a long time, nearly got 2,000 members, but where a forum is superior for learning, it is not superior for networking. So I'm going to create the missing piece of the puzzle and create a Discord server. So there's a link below, join the waitlist in the Telegram and it will be released on December 1st. So you wanna get in early with that, you'll see why. So anyway, I thought I'd just get that off out of the way. Yep, yeah, so uh, in all my YouTube videos, I normally use Proxy Cheap to demo it. I like Proxy Cheap, it's all right. With Proxy Cheap, you'll notice you can get two different types of proxies. One is shit house, and one's not too bad. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll show you the difference, all right? So for using OnlyFans, you don't need a premium proxy. What do I mean by that? I mean a proxy that has a super good, perfect fraud rating. So you'll notice with different IP addresses, you can run them through a website like Scamalytics and it'll give you a fraud rating. This is mainly important if you are using dating apps or I'm not sure what else actually, mainly dating apps. Um, platforms that care about proxy IP addresses and the quality of it. Platforms and websites that are normally prone to black hat marketing methods. So dating apps, for example, the proxy really matters there. And if it has any kind of fraud rating, um, the account will either just get instant banned or shadow banned. So that's why that matters. But with OnlyFans, um, when I first started, I was creating browser profiles with uh, proxy cheap proxies before they even introduced premium proxies and they were shit. I can't remember how bad they were, but fraud rating was like 50 or something. I can't remember, I'm totally guessing there, but out of 100, it was like 50, it was pretty bad. Um, but I was using it with OnlyFans accounts, with Reddit, no worries at all. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, all right? So first of all, you wanna order your proxy. You can get it from Proxy Cheap if you want. The premium proxies that I'm gonna show you in a sec, they used to be spotless. They used to have zero fraud rating, but the more I preach about them, on my platform and on YouTube, the less premium they're getting because the more people that use them, the more platforms become familiar with this uh, internet service provider. And then, oh sorry, internet uh, service provider. Um, the more people, the more platforms that become familiar with these proxies, word gets out, and then that's when the fraud rating goes up and that, all right? So 
Anyway, so you're going to want a static residential. I say this a lot. Um, static means stay still and residential means house. So you want a proxy that comes from a house that's standing still. Why? Because that's what houses do. That's what people do. They log in on their computer. And guess what? Their computer in their house isn't normally jumping around online. So therefore you want to look normal. Rotating residential looks like it's come from a house, but it's moving around. It's rotating. Could be switching up IPs. Just doesn't look normal. Data center, shared, always. It's just don't use data center, whatever you do. Mobile, they'll work. Be high quality, but 50 bucks a month. You don't need that. So we'll go static residential, all right? So you go to select that. Now I'll give you a couple options here. You'll have the standard proxy. That's the shithouse one I was talking about. Or you can use the premium proxy. I'm going to show you how to set up OnlyFans with the standard proxy, just to show you that you don't need to overspend. If you're starting out with a new agency, you want to save money where you can. And so you don't need to overspend where you don't need to. So IPv4. Now when it comes to country, this is one of the questions I get asked. Um, do I have to get a proxy from the same country as my model? I would say to that, you would like to, because you want to look as consistent as possible. So if a model is based in Austria, well, the model will typically usually access her only fans herself from her computer in Austria and from a mobile device in Austria. So if you set up an entity set browser profile with a proxy in Austria, then it looks like the model is just logging in on her computer. And then when she logs in on her mobile phone, also located in that country, it doesn't look as weird. Whereas if the model is logging in from her mobile phone to her OnlyFans account in Austria, and then all of a sudden you log in from Canada, it looks a little weird. Now, I don't think OnlyFans will actually care too much unless you are like super obvious, unless there's a whole few things that add up, like unless they clue on to you being an agency, then it won't matter a whole lot, but I would avoid doing it anyway. So that covers the country. So look, for example, we'll just go United Kingdom, because why not? By the way, another question I get asked is, I should have already covered, I remember that being a very shit uh, internet service provider actually. Look, it's gonna be shit. I wanna run this through Scamalytics and show you how shit they are. But the point is it will still work. So uh, another question I got asked, I haven't written down here actually, because these are the ones that get asked on OnlyFans. Yes, uh, another question was, can I use the same proxy with the model's other social media accounts? Yes, you can. I'm gonna show you how to set up a browser profile with the OnlyFans account and then Instagram and whatever platforms they use in that. Now bear in mind, not all platforms will work with this shit proxy I'm gonna show you, but you'll at least be able to log into Insta, X, Twitter. But um, yeah, regarding dating apps, Reddit and all that, that's a whole another thing. Look, you could probably log into Reddit as well, but as you learn, if you're still starting out, as you learn, you wanna separate them because when you start automating these things, you'll start giving, you'll start delegating platform tasks on platforms to VAs. So for example, scheduling Reddit content, you will end up uh, getting a VA to schedule that content. So what I try and do is separate them. If you have hired a VA to schedule Reddit content for one of your models, for example, I don't want to have them log in to their Dolphin Anti browser and then have access to their OnlyFans, Instagram, Reddit, etc. So I want to break them up. I don't want to give any employees more access to things that they don't need just for safety reasons and to be fair to the model as well. I don't think the model wants, you know, everyone having access to all their platforms if they don't need it. So that's why I break it up. But to answer the question that I get asked, can you access social media accounts along with the OnlyFans on the same proxy? Yes, you can. So anyway, let's go ahead and set this up. I'll stop blabbering on and we'll just set up. Uh, you want SOX5, not HTTP, SOX5. Authentication type, you want username and password because we're going to run that through Dolphin Anti. Quantity, you just want one. Time period, one. You'd normally have this set to auto extend because you would assume that you'll be with this model for a while. Fingers crossed, all right? But we won't. This is just a demo. So let's go ahead and purchase this shit proxy. And I'm going to show you what it looks like and uh, how it works. So, yep, my balance. I've already got uh, balance on there. Boom. And there it is at the top. So let's go ahead and set this up in the Dolphin Anti-Browser, shall we? So you'll click on that. 
and then you're gonna set up a new browser. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can just add the proxy to the proxy list in Dolphin Anti, or you can just add it to the browser profile while you're creating it. So actually just gonna go ahead and add it to the proxy list and then we'll add it to the browser profile, all right? So we'll go create proxy, then you'll go down to SOX5 here. Why? Because it's a SOX5 proxy. Now you're going to replace the login with the login with the username, what we call username there, and then the rest, all right? So login, then password, replace that with where it says password, and then we'll go ahead and replace the IP and port number. So this is the IP address, and that is the port number. So whenever you go and paste your IP address into something like Scamalytics or whatever, don't paste the whole thing, because that's not considered the IP address. That is considered the IP address there. So we'll replace that now. Where is it? So, okay, well, it's got both, e even better. So let's go ahead and replace them both. Boom, done. Then once you're at it, so you're gonna head and check the connection. You'll do that by clicking on it. Go down here, check connection, make sure everything's all good and it's good to use. Active, boom, done. Now we're gonna head and go create the browser profile and add the proxy to the browser profile. So go ahead, create the browser profile. What you'll do is you'll call it OnlyFans and then whatever the model's name is, Lisa. Done. That just <laughs> reminds me of the song from The Simpsons. Lisa, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Lisa. Anyway, um, done. And now what I normally do is add tags as well. This is solely just for the demo. And then you can put another tag for the model's name because when you start having multiple browser profiles with for the model, for example, when you start separating, like I mentioned earlier, you'll have Reddit and then you'll have Instagram, X, whatever, all for the model's name. Then to make it easy to find these, you can just add the model's name as a tag to each of those. So anyway, so we'll just do that. So now, done. Leave that all as is. Then you'll go to saved proxy. Now you can look for one that's not used. So profile, oh, you have to delete a heap. So, where are we? The UK one, boom, that's the one we just purchased. Done, leave everything else as is. If you are using a proxy from a country that doesn't use English as their primary language and you would like it to, then you'll change this language setting to manual. But if the proxy is from a country that speaks English primarily, then you can just leave that as auto and then leave everything else as is. Then you'll go ahead and just go create. Boom, done. So now you'll go fire that up and then we'll start logging into the platforms, all right? But before that, I just wanna show you what I mean by the uh, fraud ratings, all right? So we'll go copy that. But remember, when you're inputting in an IP address, it only wants the IP address, not the port number. So you remove those and then you'll go search and check this out. This is what I mean, see, <laughs> very high risk. The proxy, the normal proxies on this website are shit, but they still work. Look, if you wanna spend the extra money and you believe you'll make that back, or your business isn't starting out and you're actually on your way and you can justify it, then purchase the premium proxy. But if you're just starting out, you wanna save money where you can, I'm just saying that a shitty proxy can work, but you know, I'd avoid it if you can. So see what I mean? So the premium proxies, well, they used to be zero, but the more people I tell on my YouTube videos and my Empire platform and soon on Discord, remember link below, that's gonna have more and more of a rating. So I would actually recommend to start using other websites soon. This is just for the demo. All right, now we'll open up the OF browser that we just created, and then we'll go ahead and go to OnlyFans. We're not actually gonna log in to a model's OnlyFans account. I'm just gonna show you that it works, all right? And then we'll also open up Insta. And then we'll also open up Insta. This is just for example, boom, boom. And then you might have X as well. I'm not sure how X is gonna go actually, cause they're always undergoing changes. So a shitty proxy might actually flag them off now, but we'll find out. There you go, so there's OF, see what I mean? You can still access it, but I would avoid using a shitty proxy if you can, but if you're just starting out, you're gonna make do with what you do until you have the money coming in, all right? So there you go, so, and then you'll go ahead and what you'll do is you'll log in to the model's account, and then if you actually want to use her social media on the same proxy, which I do not recommend for reasons I mentioned earlier, but if you do wanna do that, then you can also log into them as well, all right? So 
you log into the models only fans account here log into insta x or whatever and then what you do is you simply just exit when you're leaving it you just exit don't close the individual tabs you just exit the whole browser because then when you go to open the browser again you won't have to re-log in and then that's how you can outsource it that's how you can get vas and that to work without giving them login info, you actually just log into everything they need already, close the browser, and you give them access to the browser profile, and then when they open it, they don't need to log in. And that goes back to the whole safety thing I was talking about earlier. You only wanna give VAs access to what they need, and nine times out of 10, you can get away with giving them any login info, you just have it already logged in. So that's what I mean there. So to answer the question that I got, can you log into social media channels and the OF account on one proxy? Yes. And the other question was, can you use a proxy from a different country that the model is from? Yes. However, if you are doing this, then make sure that the model is never logging in at the same time that you are online. Because if you're logged in online to our OnlyFans and you're from Canada, for example, the proxy is from Canada, and she's logging in while you're logged in from her mobile phone in Austria, for example, that's going to flag it, and the first thing you're going to think is, hmm, agency, and then you're probably going to get banned. So, I would not do that. But otherwise, you can if you want. But try getting a proxy from the same country as the model, if possible, because you just want to cover all your bases, all right? So, that's it. I hope that helped you. Link below for Dolphin Nancy if you want to download that, get a discount. And link below for the Discord I'm creating, launches December 1, if you want to know all this stuff and more. I'm dropping heaps in there, including daily TikTok trends, free model leads, a whole lot of other sources as well, proxy lists and all that. So there you go. So link below for those and I'll see you on another video.